Greetings mobile accomplishers, welcome to precentral.net. Uh, you are looking at a Palm Pre Plus, uh, currently on AT&T, running WebOS 2.1, and you know that because you're looking at exhibition mode. Uh, so 2.1 hit for uh, European devices today, um, and thanks to the work of uh, WebOS internals and the WebOS MetaDoctor, it can be made to run on uh, Palm Pre Plus and Palm Pre phones in the US. However, it is still not ready or anywhere near ready, frankly, for prime time. Um, I wasn't able to sign into a Palm Profile. Some people were. There are serious Palm Profile issues. Uh, you won't be able to go back to a 145 if you update yours to a 2.0. Uh, we're not clear yet on whether or not the radios will actually work on uh, Sprint and Verizon devices to connect to the CDMA network. Uh, so straight up, if you are doing anything other than playing around and testing and are willing to have a broken pre or a screwed up Palm profile, don't touch this yet. <laughs> um, however, since it's out and uh, in Europe and on devices, I wanted to give us a quick walkthrough of what's new in WebOS 2.1 compared to WebOS 2.0. Uh, I'm not going to give WebOS 2.0 a full walkthrough. We've done that already, and I'll link to our WebOS 2.0 review where there is another video where you can see everything that's new in two minutes. However, here's exhibition mode, uh, and the way it works is um, your phone's on, and if you set it on the touchstone, it uh, doesn't do anything right away. Um, but if the phone times out and powers off, or you hit the power button, it goes into exhibition mode. Then you can hit it again to turn it off, etc., etc. And so there's a, here's the clock, and you can Turn the background on and off by tapping on it. Woohoo! Uh, you can also swipe down from the top when in exhibition mode from pretty much anywhere to choose other exhibition modes. So that was time. We also have the agenda, which shows you your agenda. There we go. And looks like my day is free. That's because this phone isn't hooked up to a Palm profile. Uh, if it were hooked up to a Palm profile, I could go looking for more exhibition apps, uh, like flashcards, for instance. But I'm not. And then here's the uh, the photo mode for exhibition, where it shows you a slideshow of your photos. You can, I believe, swipe left and right. You can change the speed of the photos that they come through. You can put it on shuffle, and then you can also choose which roll it's going to pull your photos from. So if we go to, say, wallpapers here, it'll show the default wallpapers as a slideshow, which is pretty slick. To exit exhibition mode, you just swipe up, or you pull it off the touchstone. And here we are in WebOS 2.0. We've got Just Type, where you can do searches. It's showing you recent searches now, which is pretty slick. Um, we may have voice dialing. I'll hold down the volume key here. And it doesn't look like voice dialing is enabled, which is a bummer. Um, I was hoping that we would uh, see that here. But uh, no, no voice dialing. Um, the other thing that we don't have here is Flash. So this is the Newgrounds website, and unlike the Pre 2 or even early builds of the, uh, the Pre uh, 2.1 on, on the Pre that uh, may or may not get released now, we'll see, wasn't there. And so if you do click on Get Here, click here to get Flash, what you end up with is Adobe's page saying we're continuing to work with Palm, etc., etc., etc. Just Type has got quick actions, so if we uh, just type, say, Pre central. We get our bookmarks and history. You can minimize that. Hit, look, take a look at Google Suggest. See what they suggest. You can launch and search Google Maps, Wikipedia, the Palm Map Catalog, and then Quick Actions, of course, as well. There you go. Um, other new stuff in 2.1. Honestly, there's not much. It's a lot like 2.0. Um, you know, we can launch a bunch of apps here. There's Text Assist, which is a 2.0 feature for autocorrect. Here's VPN 2.0 feature for getting onto secure networks. We'll launch the clock. We'll launch the videos app. We'll launch oh, the photos app. We'll launch the music app. We will reorder this page or rename this page by holding our finger down. Pretty exciting. You can also reorder launcher pages by going into the menu on the launcher. You can reorder launcher pages that way. Here's Quick Office, the Quick Office Reader, not the full version yet. There's a YouTube. I know Reader was looking for us to see PDF view. 
You may as well launch Google Maps. And uh, what else is new? We've got the account manager, which lets you manage all of your accounts in one place. Such a great feature. Wish it had always been there in WebOS. Um, we can take a look at the software manager. Now we're starting to slow down a little bit. Maps always takes a long time to load, hey? There's PDF view. There we go. So we'll let that open up. The same as PDF view as before. So it's it's working a, a little bit here. Um, there's YouTube. We can stack these cards together. Google Maps unable to determine my location. Just too bad. It's not in Cuba. It's over there somewhere. Uh, um, so there you go. This is. Um, this is Quick Office. I don't have any documents installed on this phone. Music player is the same. Photos are the same. There's the clock. VPN. Text Assist. We'll launch uh, Exhibition Mode Preferences so you can see that. And then, of course, even if you're not on the touchstone, you can just tap Start Exhibition and it will go into Exhibition Mode. It's pretty slick. Swipe up to get away from it or swipe back to get away from it. Stack these cards up together here. So there it is. That is WebOS 2.1, the new features anyway. Um, and again, uh, hopefully this will be available to people outside of Europe uh, by hook or by crook, or maybe even by an official WebOS doctor download. That would be pretty keen. Uh, we will see. And thanks for watching, guys.